are having today is effect of temperature on pH and acidity of crude oil. These are the apparatus for the experiments uh, and the materials as well. We have crude oil, we have a beaker, we have the uh, measuring cylinder, we have the steering rod, we have the uh, hot water bath and the heater stand, we have the sensitivity meter, we have the pH meter, and then some other glassware. We also have the thermometer. The pH of crude oil measures the alkalinity or acidity of the solution. It approximates but not equal to the negative degree to be stained of the concentration of hydrogen ions. The resistivity of crude oil is influenced by the dissolved salts and the insoluble solid materials contained in the oil. The higher the concentration of the dissolved salts, the lesser the resistivity of the solution. Unlike metals, increase in temperature of the solution brings about decrease in the resistivity of the solution. The aim of experiments is to derive the resistivity logging of this setup. The city logging is used in mineral and oil exploration. It is an indispensable tool of formation evaluation in oil and gas well drilling operations. The usefulness of electrical resistivity logging in determining the reservoir characteristics is governed largely by the accuracy with which the true resistivity of information can be determined. The scope of the detailed data relating resistivity measurements to formation characteristics. Also, by the available information concerning the conductivity of connects or formation waters. And lastly, it's also determined by the extent of the geological knowledge regarding the probable changes in phases within the given horizons. Let's look at the procedure for carrying out this experiment. The first thing we do is that we measure 400 ml of food oil into the beaker. So keep showing. That's 400 ml at lower meniscus. Then we place it into the hot water bath. And then Clamp the uh, thermometer to read the temperature. We also have the stirrer used to stir to ensure homogeneous and uniform eating. Stated in the manual and also the table here, which is the experimental data, we are meant to take our pH reading, our conductivity reading, first at 40 degrees centigrade. So we place the resistivity meter and the thermometer into the uh, crude oil solution while eating it and allowing it to get to 40 degrees centigrade before we take our reading on the resistivity meter and also on the pH meter. Right now, it's at 35, so you wait for it to get to uh, 40. For demonstration purpose, we are going to take readings only at 40, and then during the experiment, the student can then take readings at 40, readings at 50, 60, 70, and 80 as shown in the table. Now it's at 40. So we take further take the readings 
on the pH meter. We allow it to stabilize. So we see that the reading on the pH meter is six point four. Six point four. They will take the reading on the uh meter as well. Okay, we have readings between 3 times 10 to the power 9 and then 10 to the power 10. At the end of the experiment, you are expected to plot a graph of pH of the crude oil against temperature and also evaluate a mathematical model or relationship between the pH and the temperature of the crude oil. And lastly, you are meant to derive the resistivity log of this setup, which is a plot of resistivity against temperature of crude oil. Thank you.